this is Chris Hansen, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can apply looks in Perfectly Clear to create a unique and stylized version of your photographs. Now when you first open up Perfectly Clear, you may not have the presets and looks panel showing. So to do that, if you come over to the left here and click on this little triangle, that'll expand it out. We can also collapse it back down by clicking again. Now you'll see that presets is on the top and sometimes you'll have looks collapsed and to expand it again click on this little triangle. Now for working with looks I'm going to click on this triangle here by presets to collapse it down and one of the things you'll notice is that we can have a visual view or we can just have a text view. I'm a visual person so this view often works best for me. Now another thing to know about looks is that when you apply a look, it doesn't affect any of these previous settings or crop. It applies the look over the top of those without modifying them, and that is one of the powerful aspects of it. We can also turn looks off and on by clicking here. And if we want to buy more looks, in addition to the ones that come with the software, we can click on this button, and it'll send you to the web page where additional presets, looks, and add-ons are located. So now let's take a look at creating some creative looks. The first one I want to create is a black and white look. And in exploring these, I found for me, the crisp B&W or crisp black and white works the best. And I also found that I wanted to set this at 148 after moving the slider back and forth. So this is the black and white look applied. And this is the original photograph. Now just a colder look, but maintaining color, I found that in color grades, that cold steel worked for me to create a cool, cold look, but still have some color in it. And I found that 129 on that was most appealing to my eye. So this is with cold steel applied, and this is the original photograph. Now dark and foreboding, I found that in color grades, dark and moody worked well. And I set that at 157. So a touch of color, a little brighter, a bit of foreboding feeling to it. So this is with Dark and Moody applied, and this is the original photograph. Now, the next one is Warm and Inviting, and I found that down in Stylized Color, and Cream Brulee worked the best for me, but set to 46. Warm, inviting, friendly. So that's with cream brulee applied. And that's the original photograph. Now just some more pop and pizzazz. I came down to the color film stock. And I found that pop film set at 73 worked well for me. It's a little saturated, but it's really fun. So maybe we'll just call this one Pop, Pizzazz, and Fun. So that's with Pop Film Applied, and that's the original photograph. And last, more film-like, I found that Simple Film worked, and I applied that at 83. A little more muted, a little softer colors, definitely more filmic. And that's with Simple Film Applied. And that's the original photograph. So there you go. With some creative looks in mind, we took a look at using looks in Perfectly Clear to create those. And by adjusting the strength, I was able to find looks that created the look and feel that I was wanting. So for you, it's gonna be a similar process. You have a look and feel in mind, and you go through the different looks, and you play with the strength setting until you find one that meets your needs. This is Chris Anson. 
I hope that you found this video helpful and enjoyable, and thanks for listening.